going to be making baked broccoli mac and cheese. Right now, I'm preparing the one and a half cups of broccoli florets. These broccoli florets are going to boil with the elbow macaroni and a large pot of salt water for seven minutes. The um, elbow macaroni and the broccoli florets uh, cook together in salt water, so I'm just going to put some salt in. And then I'm gonna add my elbow macaroni. Um, I measured it out, it's 12 ounces by the way. And these broccoli florets. You cook your um, broccoli florets and your elbow macaroni, you want to drain Then after you drain it, after it finishes draining, you want to cook it. But first you have to preheat the oven to 375 degrees and take a cute little um, pan or dish or whatever you want to cook it in and spray it with some cooking spray. After you set up the pan, like the dish that you're going to do it in, you want to put um, butter on, on a skillet and melt it, so like that, and then what else you want to put in one fourth cup of onion. Um, next you're going to put in some flour, um, a quarter cup of flour I'm pretty sure, and you're going to um, like stir it in and mix it well, and, and you have to stop in about like a minute when it turns golden in color. You're gonna add milk and chicken or vegetable broth. Then you're gonna whisk the mixture together, um, usually for about five uh, minutes, so there's no bumps or lumps in it. Um, once it's done, it's thickened. You're supposed to remove the heat and add in um, two cups of cheese. When you're done stirring in the cheese. You wanna add the broccoli and the pasta into the mixture. So I'm just going to actually put this down. Um, so basically you put it in your dish and you just want to sprinkle in some breadcrumbs over the top of it. Um, you also want to sprinkle in Parmesan as well. Um, this is now going to go into the oven for 20 minutes. And there you have it. Wasn't that such a fun way to make mac and cheese? It's also really healthy too.